Hi, now it's possible to send out form requests via a uh, lightning email template. So you don't have to create a PDF butter uh, email doc config to send out a form request. I have created here a uh, new lightning email template. Uh, it's related to the opportunity object. And yeah, I gave it a name, as you can see, form request by lightning email template. I can have a subject and then obviously I can have uh, built my content right here in the lightning email template. To put in the form request, that's a little bit tedious. For that, I created a link here, as you can see, but I edited the source of my email to say in the uh, href attribute of my link that this item must be there. Please copy paste it from the YouTube video or from the Academy to make sure you have no errors in the uh, in this uh, format. It is case sensitive and it has to be exactly that format for us to put in the uh, form butter URL in this uh, uh, in this part in this place. Okay, so we have our email template, so that's all good. I can now continue with the rest of my configuration. Obviously, I would need some kind of an, uh, a pack. So I created a pack here already. And in the pack, I said, well, that's uh, linked to my form butler uh, documents as a leading doc config. And now I need to create an actionable to actually send it out via form butler, these documents that I created. So I'm going to call this actionable uh, form by lightning email okay so the class i'm going to copy paste from another configuration to not make mistakes i'm making sure it's active so the email targets uh okay, let's take a look it's going to be form butter form contact form butler form contact so that's the contact person i want to send out to the action is use attached. I don't want to regenerate it. The form butler uh, configuration, that's this one. Um, the field API name is probably going to be opportunity underscore underscore C. Yes, indeed, opportunity underscore underscore C. That's a new lookup that I created. Or And um, then I have to, of course, fill in the uh, email template unique name. So I did, I empty, uh, so I left empty the email doc config. So that's empty. So it will not use this. And now I have to copy the name of my email template and put it right over here. So now when this name is filled, it will actually say, ah, I want to send it out in Lightning email template. Cool. Let's save this. And now let's go to my opportunity. On the opportunity, I have already added the uh, form butter, uh, the PDF butter component. As you can see, I indicated that I don't want to see any previews. I have put in my pack ID, but obviously you can also put in the uh, um, the long pack ID. Um, and then I gave it a name. So let's save this configuration and let's test. Because all of the uh, configuration now will say, use the uh, email, that should actually now say, just give me a, an, uh, an indication, an, uh, a toast as they call it, to say that the, uh, uh, the email is sent successfully. Let's take a look into form butler. And let's go to my form requests. So I have a form request that's generated right now. And if I take a look, there would be an email sent. Yes, the email is sent. And if I check this email, it's the exact email that I um, that I sent out or that I created in my Lightning email template. And there is a link here uh, in that email attached. So if I open up that link, I will actually directly go to the form request that I've created. So. No need to, to uh, create email doc configs anymore. Just create lightning email templates. Next to that, you can also um, make sure that the lightning email template is like um, um, local or language enabled. So I can make one called NL or AN for an English one or FR for a French one. I can say, well, I want French in uh, Belgium, so I can create one by the locale, or I want France in France or in Canada. All of that is possible 
you just have to make sure that the locale of the user or the locale uh, set by the uh, PDF butter component matches the locale of uh, the, the uh, email template name. So that would be an extra underscore that you have to put here and then the language uh, or the locale that you want for that email template.